What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry there haven't been any videos of any kind on the channel the last few days. I've had some serious internet problems, but it has finally been fixed. So we're back into the kind of normal video grind. But today was, of course, Tuesday. That is our normal weekly update. And we got probably the best newswire we've had in a long time. And that was the newswire that announced the release date for the summer update. This will be coming out next Tuesday. Tuesday, September the 10th, um, and they did not say any particular time, so I'm not sure if it's going to be out early in the morning or if it will be later in the day. They did not say that. I'm assuming it'll be out after midnight, um, depending on where you live, but they did not give a, a particular date just yet. They did give a lot of details about this. I'm going to link this article down in the description below so you guys can read over it for yourself. The first few things they did talk about was, of course, some changes to the uh, kind of movement system to make movement more fluid, uh, you know, drastically improve the, you know, kind of movement system. Uh, they said also the first three roles coming to the game. So I'm assuming they're going to be adding more roles as the game goes on. They didn't really say anything about more roles, but they did say that they're gonna, these were the first, uh, first of, you know, many roles to come. Is kind of how they worded this. Also, new defensive. Uh, play style changes to make it harder to kill you, new ability cards, new daily challenges, and roll daily challenges. More dynamic events happening happening across the frontier. Now this whole update is going to kind of be a, a revolving around frontier pursuit is kind of how they have labeled it. They did give a lot of detail about the new roles and how they will rank up and the progression. The first thing they kind of talked about is each role automatically earns roll XP as you complete roll activities. When you hunt a bounty, you will earn roll XP towards the bounty hunter and of course so on for each individual role. It says you will be able to go through 20 uh, role ranks and each five of those ra uh, ranks you will receive a new kind of distinction, novice, promising, established, all the way up to level 20 which is distinguished. You will also unlock roll tokens. As you rank up, this will unlock new skills such as the bounty hunter's ability to duck uh, on horseback. But each character has their own kind of skill that you can unlock with these bounty tokens. You can swap between any of these roles at any time. But of course, whichever role you're on is the role you're going to be ranking up. You're not going to be ranking up all the roles. You have to be on that particular character doing the activities for that character to rank that character up with roll XP. Now they did talk about some of the things that are going to be coming that are particular to each role and kind of the price that it will cost to get started. They said to start the bounty hunter, uh, to start the bounty hunter, you have to go to roads to get a bounty hunter license. They said this will cost 15 gold bars. But if you're a Twitch Prime member who linked their Rockstar Social Club account to Twitch Prime, if you have done that at least by September the 8th, that bounty hunter license will be free. If not, you'll have to pay the 15 gold bars. They have talked about a lot of things that you will get with the bounty hunter. Kind of, uh, if you rank up to at least rank 12, you, you'll be able to bounty uh, get bounties on real world players in game that have a bounty of $20 or more. They did not really give a lot of details on how much each of these bounties will cost. They just said uh, each bounty, if turned in with the person alive, you will get paid the maximum or you know a, a larger amount for them being alive and not dead. They did give some of these skills. Uh, that you can get with the bounty hunter target glow for the for the enemies when you're in dead eye of course a reinforced la lasso tons of different kind of gun tricks you can do spinning your weapons and that kind of thing kind of like a, a showmanship kind of thing for a gunslinger i guess a uh, tonic satchel upgrade uh, the ability to track enemies with eagle eye the ability to upgrade your kit satchel a tracking arrow the ability to duck when riding on horseback a bounty wagon so you can carry more you know criminals back to wherever you have to take them so you can carry more than just one person at a time and of course they did talk about some other uh, gun spinning tricks now the trader they said what you'll have to do for the trader is buy a butcher's table and then your crypts is going to start being you know kind of working with you in this trader business of course the butcher table will cost an investment of 15 gold bars just like the um, bounty hunters license it says while all play PlayStation 4 players will get the butcher table for free. So if you play on PlayStation 4, that butcher's table for the trader will be free. It says once your operation uh, kind of it starts going, uh, you will bring crypts, uh, pristine pelts, meat, hides, any of that kind of stuff, 
and then you can start kind of ranking up your business and selling these things. Also, as you improve uh, your business, you can get large delivery wagons. Of course, you can get wagons that you can carry hunting to bring more of a haul in. And that was a, a pretty neat thing. You're not just getting strictly a hunting wagon. You're also getting a delivery wagon. So one of the things they talked about for the trader was the stew pot. This can be used by you or anyone in your posse. And also unlocks new recipes that give you boost to like gold tier kind of food. So you make your cores gold you know, for the day instead of just the regular white tiers. Uh, of course, they said you can get an ingredient satchel upgrade, the awareness kind of upgrade where you can ident identify rival traders. Uh, also, the canine warning where you can train, a dog, uh, train your dog to warn off thieves from your camp. A medium and large delivery wagon, a weapons locker, a knife, uh, the efficiency kind of skill where you can learn to increase the amount of usable materials from a perfect carcass. A material sa a satchel upgrade, a hunting wagon and also protection kind of skill, which reduces the chance of raids at your camp. So far, as it has been since this has been announced until now, the trader sounds like the best for my play style, but the things that the trader has within the skill set is pretty good in my opinion as well. And last but not least is the bounty hunter. You can, now if you have GTA, you can collect the 54 hidden player cards and get that bounty hunter bag for free. If not, it will be 15 gold bars just like the others. Uh, the other skills or the other classes to uh, you know to unlock them it says collect individual pieces and sell them off directly or collect sets for more valuable sales now of course we know some things that's coming with this as well the metal detector uh, a horse lantern a uh, horse saddlebag upgrade uh, you have the intuition to narrow your search and kind of know where items are at or sense kind of items or nearby collectibles and you also will get a shovel to carry with you along with a few other things you know to go with each class that's the kind of the main points that they did talk about and they said there will be a lot more added with this update as well in, in addition to these roles uh, there will be new features and gameplay updates including new free roam events and unlocks as you progress through each role of course guys like I said I'll link this down in the description below if you would like to read it for yourself. The main point of this is at least we know that summer update is coming out next Tuesday. So leave me your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.